Farming Simulator 19. And uh, here you go, JD. We'll uh, we'll feed you there. Yes, enjoy. Okay, since last episode here, I actually planted the corn and the sunflowers, harvested them, and I've replanted them here again. So this is actually the second set of corn and sunflowers we're going to be harvesting. Uh, one thing I did have here while I was uh, fast forward time off screen here, if we skip to, let's see that screen right here. Uh, you notice field 16 has weeds on it. Unfortunately, what happened uh, last in-game day, it started raining at like midnight, and it didn't stop raining till like, oh uh, boy, I don't know. It, it rained for like 16 hours straight in the game, probably something like that. Uh, yeah, but like I said, basically like midnight it started raining, and it was basically dark again until it stopped raining. So I'm actually like two days here. I fast forward a time to get through the rain and uh, get into some uh, light here again. And unfortunately, well, well, maybe not so unfortunate, but uh, while it is raining, you cannot spray weeds on your crops. So, yeah, unfortunately, field 16 here, got weeds on it. Not much I can do about it because it started raining. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Anyway, let's uh, let's get started harvesting here. We got corn on uh, this field here. This is 24, 25, and 26. Again, we're on the uh, Ravenport map here, by the way. Ravenport, the North American map here for Farming Simulator 19. Uh, fire up the combine. Oh, yeah, so the combine always uh, skips this little bit right there. As it uh, comes up over the hill, a little bit of a rise there. And, yeah, apparently the header's a little too high. It doesn't actually harvest that bit of corn. you got to come back from the other direction if you want to get it. Oh, well. Anyway, the John Deere T560i combine here again. As many of you pointed out, yes, this is a European model combine. Obviously, at this point, though, there's no way I'm going to be affording a nice F790 combine. So... We're going to be using this combine for a little while yet. Uh, hopefully, after we're done with this harvest here, I'm hoping I can afford field 14. And then also a larger plow and a larger or different cultivator. Larger or different, I don't care. Either, either one. I'll, I'll take a regular form heater cultivator maybe too. But our current cultivator is slowing us down significantly. Again, none of our cedars no-till. And if you're looking at the shop here, I don't believe any of the regular cedars here, you know, grain drills, no-till that I know of. I don't know. Oh, this one does. The Vaterstad does. Okay, so except for the, like, the bigger ones here. Oh, that one does. Sara does. Ah, oh, the Horse Pronto 9 does. I did not realize that. I don't think the, oh, the Vaterstad does. Okay. I was thinking the Vaterstad did not. This machine offers possibility to seed directly. Okay. So, yeah, at least for the smaller cedars, I don't think there's any that do. Oh, wait, there's this one. Uh-huh. I should check my cedars more often here, I guess. I guess the only ones I've looked at so far have been like the Amazon. I've looked at the uh, Star one here. What show? Oh, this one actually. I wonder, do they change this? Because I don't think the Star one offered that before. Maybe it does now. Uh, this one does not. That's the Coon. Uh, let's see what's here. Of course, we got the Amazon currently here, three meters. Definitely want to upgrade Cedars. So, what we could do here is we could get the Vaterstad. We upgraded that one or even this uh, Agro, Agro Moss. Uh, they're both three meters, right? Yeah, they're both three meters. Oh, this one fertilizes. Ah, this one offers fertilizer. I like that option. That might be a good way to go here. Uh, does the Stara? The star is a little bit wider. Offers fertilizer. A little more expensive. Might look at that. Maybe we'll go with the star. We'll see once. Uh, planters here. I don't think... Uh, does even the bigger one? Yeah, not even the biggest. I don't think there's any here that... Uh, no till. Not that I know of. Unless you folks know. Maybe there is one there that does, but... None of the planters are what I would call row crop cedars no-till, which, again, is just, I, I don't understand that. A, a row crop cedar that doesn't no-till. That, uh, that seems a little foreign to me, but uh, I don't know, maybe that's a European thing or something. Well, like I said, you know, at, at this point, uh, I think pretty much any uh, company that uh, doesn't have a no-till cedar is going to be laughed out of existence here. So, yeah, no... No-till row crop cedars? It seems kind of odd to me. You know, at least where I live, uh, you know, no-tilling after, especially soybeans and wheat, is very common. Uh, typically, you don't do see a whole lot of no-tilling necessarily after corn. There will be a little bit, but, uh, you know, again, corn leaves quite a bit of residue behind. So usually that, uh, at least where I live, again, gets tilled in in some short, sort of fashion. 
But yeah, we'll definitely have to look at a different cedar there. That might uh, help us with our cultivator problem as well, then. We can maybe uh, keep our current cultivator, but get one that will... A cedar that will no-till. Uh, again, if you're not familiar with no-till, basically by no-till we mean that no prior cultivation is required before seeding. So currently with our current cedar, I either have to A, plow, and uh, typically for realism settings, I usually like to cultivate then after that. You don't plow, or you don't plant plowed ground. The ground is just too rough for planting. And or if, you know, I'm on like this here, actually this is going to have to be plowed, by the way. Uh, but if it did not have to be plowed, I'd at least have to cultivate it before I can plant it. So, yeah, again, this is taking a lot of time here, seeing how I have to cultivate first and then plant. And uh, being that we have a small, slow cultivator, taking a lot of time here for planting. So, anyway. One little stalker that's hanging out there. Yeah, like I was saying, that's kind of the plan here. We're going to see if we can pick up Field 14 and then definitely upgrade some equipment here. I would like to upgrade the plow as well. Unfortunately, as far as plows go, I really don't have a whole lot of options here. Most likely, we'll probably just go with the subsoil or even the, either the agrisim here, the kami plow, or the coon here. Uh, that one takes, yeah, 500 horsepower, and that one's, oh, that's 420 horsepower. Wow, that's just so much less. <laughs> Not really. So, yeah, we won't be getting any one of those either either one of those anytime soon. Oops, we, love, oh, we missed two stalks there. Uh, have I mentioned there's no GPS mod yet? Have I mentioned that? Because in case I haven't, uh, GPS mod, you know? Yes. At the time I'm recording this, I'm not aware that it has been released. It, it possibly has been. Again, I have heard it is being worked on, but... Uh, to my understanding here so far, basically modders are trying to, uh, you know, figure out what all the new uh, controls and commands are for Farming Sim 19 here. Apparently, you know, Giants doesn't just readily release that information. So, uh, you know, modders are kind of left to themselves to try to figure out some of it out, apparently. Again, myself, not really a modder. I can uh, do some basic modifications, and that, that's about it. Uh, corn here at least should be a good yield. I got this uh, sprayed here before it started raining. I actually started spraying this field first. And then I went up to uh, 15 and 16 there again. We got sunflowers on those fields. And started spraying there and I was halfway done. Unfortunately when it started raining. And I was like, oh well, we'll just uh, wait till it stops raining. Well, I basically kept fast forward in time, fast forward in time. Uh, it finally got to like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And then the crops ripened. And I was like, oh crap, now... Yeah, we're too late. We can't fertilize or can't spray for weeds anymore. Again, once the crops are ripe, it's too late. You can't get rid of the weeds, which, yeah, it's, I mean, that's a good thing. I don't necessarily disagree with that. Uh, except when it comes to multiplayer. We have Ryan into a slight issue with that on multiplayer. But, uh, yeah, once your crops are grown, no getting rid of the weeds. So something to keep in mind. You know, once the weeds show up, you want to get rid of them as soon as possible. But, yeah, unfortunately, because of the rain, I was not able to do that. That is kind of annoying. And then not to mention, uh, it kept on raining for like another... I don't know. It was dark again before it uh, stopped raining. Uh, for those of you wondering about rain, by the way, I, I don't have any placeable buildings out. So I don't know if uh, rain would have gone through the roof of the buildings or not. I'm not sure on that. Uh, what I did notice, however, though, I did not notice any rain coming through the uh, cab of the tractor. Or the uh, cab of the combine either, for that matter. So I kind of tabbed around to a couple different pieces of equipment I have here. Uh, I did not notice any rain coming through the cabs of any of the vehicles, so don't know if that's just maybe because I didn't see it or it actually legitimately doesn't exist. Not sure. And I mean, you know, take your pick there, I guess, so to speak. And then also the windshield wipers do turn on automatically when it starts raining, by the way. So the windshield wiper there does work when it starts raining, which is kind of a cool effect. 
I know there were some mods back in uh, previous versions of Farming Simulator that had that feature as well. If it started raining, the windshield wiper would work. And unfortunately, they don't have the effect, but it would really be a nice, cool effect here in Farming Simulator. For those of you familiar with Euro Truck and American Truck Simulator, when it starts raining in that game, you got basically like water drops that form and run down your little windshield on that game. It would really be cool if this game did that as well, but unfortunately it does not. At least not yet anyway. Never know, maybe in the future some, some modder will come up with something, but yeah, they don't yet, so... Also, uh, based on when this uh, video will be releasing, hopefully everyone is having a good Thanksgiving here, at least in uh, America anyway. Celebrate uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, let's see, what is it? November November 22nd here on Thursday is uh, Thanksgiving here in the United States. And there's a few other countries I think that have something similar as well. But yeah, hopefully everyone's having a great, uh, or had a great Thanksgiving. And also, you know, enjoy a couple of uh, days off of work as well. Okay, let's grab the... Oh, uh, the John Deere's attached to it. Okay. Grab our trailer here. Again, another little bit of a disappointment here. They don't have any good American trailers in the game here, other than, obviously, the Wilson. And by American trailer, I mean a good uh, gravity wagon of sorts. Yeah, we just got the uh, more European style trailers here. And I know I've mentioned this uh, many times before. It's always something I find interesting uh, in this game versus uh, what typically I would consider to be more American farming equipment. You know, European style trailer here versus, say, a American style. Uh, gravity wagon. It's just interesting to see the uh, massive differences in equipment sometimes, uh, European versus American. You know, why uh, in America do we use gravity wagons as opposed to a trailer like this? Or, you know, why did the Europeans use a trailer like this? Uh, no collision camera would be nice too, by the way. Have I mentioned that? I don't think I've mentioned that mod yet, but, uh, you know, in Europe, they use this type of trailer as opposed to, say, a gravity wagon. Uh, gravity wanes, of course, I would say have the benefit of being a lot simpler. Uh, there's no, you know, hydraulics or anything required for a gravity wagon. Uh, however, because of that, you do lose out a little bit on space. You know, so a gravity wagon or a non, or a wagon that's not a gravity wagon of the same size as a gravity wagon would hold, you know, quite a bit more. Because again, you know, gravity wagon has to have the sides angled, so all the material, whatever's in the wagon, will flow out. Versus, say, a hydraulic-type wagon where it can be dumped out. Yeah, again, interesting to note the differences there. And again, I don't know why why the uh, Europeans use their type of trailers versus uh, Americans use gravity wagon type of trailers. Almost perfect width here. You notice the uh, planter missed just a little bit there. I didn't bother going back to plant that the like last couple rows there. I that was yeah, good enough. Oh, and speaking of getting this replanted as well, suppose I can start. Actually, you know what? This is actually plowed, isn't it? I bet. Yes, it will be. Uh, one thing, and I've been reading a little bit through the information here, and this is actually some good information. Uh, typically, I don't bother checking the help that often. It's usually, to be honest, not that helpful, but they've actually done a Fairly decent job here with Farming Simulator 19 and the help. Uh, improving yield here. There's a couple things to note, and I, I think I've noted most of these already. Uh, you need to spread fertilizer twice, and then you need to spread lime every three harvests. Oh, actually, we've got to be getting close to having lime on this field here, too, I'm thinking. 
Uh, we also need to remove bad weeds, otherwise you get a minus 20%, so that's not terrible. We're going to lose 20% of our sunflowers there. And then you need to plow after corn, potatoes, sugar beets, and sugar cane. So that's every harvest, not every third harvest. It actually doesn't say anything about plowing here, does it? This says plow after corn, potatoes, sugar beets, and sugar cane. I'm assuming it's still after every third harvest yet, too. Maybe it's just after uh, those three crops you have to plow now. I'm actually not entirely sure on that. I guess we'll find out. Well, actually, no. No, it's got to be after other crop types as well, because I had to plow 15 and 16, so it still has to be every third harvest as well, I think. Because I had sunflowers on 15 and 16 there, and after the last harvest, I had to plow that field as well. And uh, if that information there and the help is correct, I shouldn't have to plow it after this time. Also, just a reminder here as well for anybody that would like to uh, join us on the multiplayer servers. Again, that information is in the description below. Currently, we're on in three farming simulator multiplayer servers. And actually, I say three. We actually have more multiplayer servers than that yet as well. Uh, we got a total, I think there's six uh, multiplayer servers. Again, the uh, Busters community servers are running three as well. Again, that is part of the RDL and TeamSpeak server there. So uh, technically we got a total of six multiplayer servers I think that are currently running. Uh, basically two with each map. So we got two of the Ravenports, two of the Felsbrunn, that's the European, and then two of the Estacia La Pocho maps. And at least on the maps so far here, Estacia La Pocho is probably, probably going to be a little bit easier map to start on just because it has larger fields on it. Again, the larger the fields you start with, the easier it is going to be to... Uh, progress in this game. When you start out with small fields like I have here, it uh, it's going to take a while. Which, uh, again, it's pretty much probably what you're noticing here. We got a little less than $100,000, and we've been, I would say, doing a fair amount of work here to uh, get that, um, that amount of money. Uh, basically, we make, what, every... every harvest, we maybe make, like, $30,000 or so, which is really not that much. Again, that's because we've got smaller fields, so. But, uh, yeah, again, if you'd like to uh, join us on the multiplayer servers, again, that information's in the description below. We just ask that you please join us on TeamSpeak. Again, a microphone is not required, so if you don't have a microphone, don't worry. You can still join. And uh, anyone's welcome to join as long as you can uh, play nicely and follow the rules. And, of course, with a new Farming Simulator 19 multiplayer mechanics, basically everyone gets their own farm, although we have ran out of farms on the Ravenport map. Uh, so you can join with somebody on the Ravenport map, but there are no more farms available on Ravenport. Again, that's the North America map. Uh, we do, to my knowledge, have a couple of farms available on Felsbrunn. Again, that's the European. And Estacia Lapocho, I think, is somewhat full as well. I might be wrong on that, but... But uh, yes, with the new farm mechanics there, it's basically quite a bit different than Farming Simulator 17 and previous versions of Farming Simulator were. Uh, in order to play multiplayer, you now have to be assigned a farm to be able to do anything. Uh, you can, of course, join farms, leave farms. But uh, you essentially have to be on a farm to be able to even do anything. And of course, a farm is tied to property and equipment. So whatever that farm owns, you have access to. So very similar to like using uh, the multiplayer bank mod, the multiplayer owner mod, even to some extent maybe the, like the multiplayer uh, login mod, though we never really made much use of that on the RD Allen multiplayer servers. Uh, it be very similar to all the multiplayer mods that were released for Farming Simulator 17. All those features are essentially built into the game now, so it could really, really improve some of the multiplayer-ness of the game, I guess you could say. 
I think uh, a lot of people are really going to like how they've done it here with multiplayer. Again, I did allude to this earlier. There is a little bit of an issue with weeds, however. Uh, that, of course, being when you plant your field and let's say, you know, you have to log off for the night you're done. Uh, you come back the next day. Uh, of course, you're not going to be the only person on the server. Other people are going to be joining and playing in as well. Uh, that means as they're playing, time is progressing. Therefore, weeds are showing up in your field. And let's just say, you know, by the time you get back, your field is fully grown. There is nothing you can do about weeds, which is really annoying. So, uh, you know, the fact that they don't let you spray the weeds once the crop is grown is kind of a cool feature, adds some realism. But, for the sake of multiplayer, it is not good. Because that means now whoever field that is, their field's kind of screwed. They can't get rid of the weeds. So yeah, that's definitely something Giants needs to address because that needs to be fixed. That is not, uh, you know, I don't know how they address that other than to say they're going to have to allow you to fertilize, or actually not fertilize, to spray herbicide on the field once it's fully grown. That's really the only option I see to get around that problem. Again, I realize that uh, takes away some realism from the game, but the only other option is to turn weeds off, which you can do that as well, I suppose. And I guess uh, going forward, uh, playing on the service here, we'll have to kind of uh, work our way through that, figure out what the best way to do it is. But uh, turning off weeds might be the only answer to that problem. And or maybe uh, somebody can release a mod that'll allow uh, users to uh, spray their fields once they are fully grown. I don't think you can uh, put fertilizer on a field once it's fully grown either, by the way. So uh, you, have, you have to have all your... Uh, fertilizer, herbicides, all that stuff needs to be done before harvest in the field. Otherwise, you lose yield. Oh, you know what? I said I was going to get a tractor going on uh, plowing here, didn't I? What did I? I completely forgot to do that, didn't I? Oh, well. Uh, we still have sunflowers to harvest here yet, so it's not like a big hurry. Maybe what we'll do here, you know, it's how much uh, we get for the corn. Probably not going to be a lot, but uh, if we get enough money from the corn here, I'd like to, first and foremost, I want to buy a field. So field 14 is first. We're saving up for that, and then uh, maybe we'll see if we can afford a larger plow. It's going to have to be like the coon or the four meter one. Our current plow is two and a half. I don't think uh, we can afford any, well, we can probably afford them, but we might not be able to pull them. Like, this is a fairly decent 240 horse. Uh, we might actually be able to pull this Lemkin. That is 4.9 horsepower. The only problem with it's a, uh, yeah, it's that style of plow. Not sure I want that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take this up to the sunflowers here. We'll get him uh, working on that harvest up there. Of course, nothing like uh, driving up this very windy road. This is a, uh, yeah, interesting road to drive up. Also had a slight accident there with a hired worker. Uh, was it, was in here somewhere. Yeah, basically drove a little far, too far off the edge there up there. Because that's where our fields are. The road kind of goes along the top of that hillside. And of course, we uh, made the fields a little bit larger up there. So, yeah, I forget what he was doing again. Was it the fertilizing, maybe? He got a little too far off the uh, road there and on the hillside, and I couldn't get him back up to the top there, so I ended up having to uh, just go down the hill there. A little bit uh, interesting. Okay, we'll just hire you. And I'm at least going to get him started on plowing here. We'll see if we can afford a larger plow. We should be able to, I would think. We can at least get, like I said, either the coon or the combi plow. 
Oh, and one thing that I noticed about this as well, look at what's happening to our plow here. I believe when we bought it, it didn't look like this. Uh, if we go to the top here, plows, have, is that the one we have? Yeah, that's the one we have. Again, two and a half meters, if you zoom in here. Notice what the plow looks like. All nicely painted, looks good, nice, clean, new. And if we get out here, now notice what my plow looks like. Yes, that is cool. I don't care what anybody says. That is a cool uh, feature of the game there. Uh, it took a while for it to uh, happen, and it is... I think it is getting progressively worse as well. Uh, in case you can't figure out what's happening, the paint is wearing off the mold board plows. Again, nothing like a little uh, dirt there to uh, wear paint off of something. Also, nothing like a little dirt there to shine up your uh, plow bottoms as well. If you have a rusty plow bottom, just uh, pull it through the dirt a little bit. <laughs> they, the rust won't last long, typically. Okay, we'll run over to the John Deere here. Sell the corn. Speaking of selling the corn, we'll have to figure out where we're going to sell it at. Most likely the restaurant. Just going to put a bet out there that it's probably going to be the restaurant. Let's see, corn. 7.78, and uh, guess where? Yep, that's the restaurant. Not really complaining. The restaurant is fairly close to our farm here, so it makes it easy to sell at, as opposed to, say, Railroad Silo West or something like that. Actually, Railroad Silo West. I don't think that's actually a sell point, is it? I think that's just a storage point, probably. I have not used the uh, train at all yet, by the way, for those of you wondering. I really don't have a use for it just yet with our uh, small farm. And you can see from, you know, 24, 25, and 26 there, all we got was 18,000 corn. And uh, corn, uh, to my knowledge, is one of the higher yielding crops in Farming Simulator. Uh, could be wrong, but I'd like to say it's probably even better than, like, wheat or barley. Or at least it's about the same. I guess I could plant some wheat and find out. Maybe we'll plant some wheat next. Planted quite a bit of soybeans and corn and sunflowers here the last uh, couple of times, so it'll be time to go back to some wheat and barley and canola. I don't think I've actually planted any barley at all in the game here yet, thinking about it. I have done wheat. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've done canola. Pretty sure I've done that. Again, been planting a lot of the uh, more American uh, type of crops, at least that I would see around where I live. Which again, corn, soybeans, and some wheat. And there is, of course, a little bit of other stuff every now and then as well, but uh, those are like the three main big crops that I see planted. Oh, wait a minute, I went past the restaurant. The restaurant is here. No problem. Made the turn. Oh, and as uh, many of you pointed out here, uh, driving through town here, seeing these electric poles. Yeah, there's no wires on the poles. Uh, I don't know why that is. If maybe that's like going to be coming in the future yet, or they just decided, no, we don't, we don't need wires on our poles. Yeah, everything's going wireless now anyway, right? So... Okay, here's hoping to a uh, good amount of money off this. Probably not, by the way. Corn isn't exactly a great seller. Probably maybe a small $10,000 or so. Oh, almost 12000 Almost twelve. Not too bad, I guess. That should allow us to uh, purchase field 14. And how much was one of those plows? Subsoilers? Yeah, about uh, 9500 to 10000 doesn't really matter which one we go with there, I guess. Uh, we should be able to sell our current plow for a little bit. Well, we, otherwise, we're probably going to be a little short uh, to be able to get a plow and a field. Again, like I said, field first. Maybe we'll uh, do that here a minute before we wrap up the episode. See how much money we got left over. See how, how much we can make off our current plow. Got 23.3 uh, hours on this tractor now, by the way. It's actually getting close to needing its second uh, maintenance here already. That's how much I've been using this uh, John Deere. 
Again, as I say, plowing the fields, cultivating and planting is really taking a long time here, so we need to speed those up. Oh, and for those of you wondering, on the 15 mile per hour speed limits there, uh, it says 15 miles an hour for the bridge. Uh, I don't know uh, if anybody, maybe I'm blind here or something, but I'm not seeing a bridge on uh, on this road at all. And it's the road we just came off of, by the way. So yeah, 15 mile an hour bridge speed. Um, don't know where the bridge is, but I, I haven't seen one. Also, come to think of it, I haven't really seen any country roads that typically have 15 mile an hour speed limits on them either. Even in the uh, city, at least where I live, the speed limit's usually 25, 35, or even 45. Usually around the house, again, usually it's about 25, maybe 35, but yeah, 15? Ooh, that is slow. Okay, what do we got on 14 here? Is that, is that cotton? It looks like cotton. We're not going to be uh, leasing another cotton harvest here, by the way. That was a waste of money, which I kind of figured it would be, but it was fun to do for starters. We're just definitely not going to be doing that again, so um, yeah, let's let's uh, purchase this here again. We're just going to plow the cotton under. A little bit of a waste, I know, but... So, field 14. The other option is 17, which that's another that's another hundred thousand dollars. I don't think I quite want to wait that long. We're just gonna go ahead and pick up 14. We'll do the same thing we did with 15 with it probably then. Plow it a little closer to the road, and of course add it to uh, the whole lineup of fields here. So let's buy that. Yes. And that leaves us with eight thousand dollars. How much can we sell our small plow for? Uh, we can sell for seven. Oh, that, that should actually give us enough money then. And of course, I'll take it down to the shop and sell it there. So we'll get a little more money that way yet. I don't know. I'm assuming they haven't changed it anyway in 19 here. But at least in previous versions, you take it to the shop. It was another, I think, was it 20% or something? So we should get like maybe, I don't know, 9,000 for that plow. Anyway, everyone, on that note, looking at the time here, it looks like it is time to. Uh, oh, just a minute here before we wrap it up. Needs plowing. I just plowed field 15 and 16, everyone. So, yes, apparently after sunflowers, did I? It doesn't say anything about sunflowers here. Corn, potatoes, sugar beets, and sugar cane. Doesn't say anything about sunflowers. Apparently, you have to plow every time after sunflowers, too, because, again, I just plowed these fields. So, that is interesting. Oh, well. Uh, anyway, like I was going to say there, everyone, we're going to wrap it up here. So, yeah, if you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. Also, don't forget, if you want to join us on the multiplayer servers, that information is in the description below. Just join us on TeamSpeak. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, and have a, or hope you had a happy Thanksgiving.